What is up guys, Jarv here back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at a full prep guide for Season 13. So if you want to find out the things you need to finish in Season 12 and everything you need to get done and carry over into Season 13, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And 80% of you that watch these videos are not currently subscribed to the channel. So if you do want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, with the launch of Beyond Light and Season 12 coming to a close, we are at this point once again where we have to look forward to Season 13 and have a look at some of the preparation we can do right now to best position ourselves for the new content ahead. Now there is quite a lot to cover in this video so we are going to break it down. Now first things first though we are going to look at the things we need to complete in the current season, Season of the Hunt, as unlike in previous years where seasonal content rotates in and out season on season, seasonal activities will remain throughout the entire year. So things like Wrathborn Hunts are going to continue throughout year 4. So with that in mind and the removal of Crow's bounties going into season 13, you definitely want to make sure you've taken the time to complete as much of the Wrathborn Hunt quest lines as you possibly can. This will ensure you've fully unlocked and upgraded your Cryptolith, and better still, make sure you have a fully charged Cryptolith too. It's likely that we'll be continuing Wrathborn hunts throughout the year with other enemy races, so at least make sure you have a fully loaded lure ready to go going into Season 13. Now another thing to consider if you're a Triumph collector is that there will be seasonal Triumphs as well. Some of these offer Triumph score and some of them do expire at the end of Season 12. You'll find these in the seasonal section of your Triumph tab, so be sure to make sure you've worked your way through those ensuring you're completing as much of the seasonal content as you can before february 9th now next up is the season pass and the relevant rewards associated to it as we know there are 100 ranks that we have to earn as part of the season pass now if you haven't fully upgraded your season pass take the time over the next few weeks to at least reach level 100 the reason for this is you'll unlock additional rewards as you progress things like exotic engrams also legendary gear 2 a kinetic energy and a heavy weapon as well as a full armor set now ideally if you haven't collected those items already you do want to keep those on your season pass and let them carry over into next season by doing so you'll be able to collect them using the reward screen over at bungie rewards on the official website and this will be useful for you once you approach the new power grind in season 13. so for example if you're desperately after a pair of boots next season and you're really struggling to get one due to your RNG you can pull one from your season 12 season pass and because this drops at power this can help plug any gaps you have in a new power level grind. Now next up is the Crucible tokens and specifically some of the changes coming to season 13 for Gambit and Crucible. So as of next season rank rewards will be visible from the ritual vendors themselves and tokens will no longer be a thing. So every season will be greeted with a brand new row of rewards as well as progression towards which ones we can earn and the rewards we can get from them. So instead of having rank rewards drop automatically from a loot pool, we can pick them up manually from the vendor list directly. And with this being the case, as I said, Crucible tokens are no longer a thing. So if you've been hoarding these throughout the entire life cycle of Destiny 2, you may have a fair stockpile in your inventory. Now is the time to head over to Lord Shacks and hand all these in. And with that, you'll get a mass amount of legendary shards, enhancement cores, gunsmith materials, as well as a lot more. So in order to avoid you missing out on all those key materials be sure to hand them all in before february 9th and the final part on this section of the video is planetary materials so starting in season 13 phase glass needles alkane dust simulation seeds and seraphite will no longer be accepted by vendors inside the game it won't be removed from your inventory you could potentially hand them in now and spend them on things like upgrade materials over at the gunsmith in the tower or you could wait until season 13 and head over to spider over in the tangled shore once there he'll offer a small glimmer exchange to take any of the remaining materials off our hands and what we don't know is how much glimmer we'll get for our materials but if you prefer to get upgrade materials instead be sure to utilize and spend as many of those four planetary materials as you can between now and next season now for the next section of the video we're going to be covering our inventory materials and specifically those of which are important to stockpile now this includes materials such as glimmer legendary shards mod components enhancement cores enhancement prisms ascendant shards planetary materials of the remaining destinations, upgrade modules, bright dust, exotic ciphers, spoil of conquests and even raid banners. 
Now you by no means need to stockpile each and every material in that list. However, there are ones that are much more important than others. So we're going to cover those ones. Any of the others that aren't specifically covered in this video are non-essential, but most definitely nice to have. Things like raid banners and spores of conquest. Now whilst Glimmer is readily available from Spider over in the Tangled Shore, you can always use your vault as an alternative bank account. If you can cap out your Glimmer at 250,000, using your collection and purchasing the other side exotic Sparrow, you can store them in your vault. It will cost you 7,500 Glimmer and 5 Legendary Shards to do so, but in return you'll get 5,000 Glimmer and 5 Shards back. So as a result you are only wasting 2,500 Glimmer, but you can store well above the 250,000 Glimmer cap, meaning you'll never be short of any Glimmer going into Season 13. Now next up we have all the upgrade materials, things like legendary shards, mod components, enhancement cores, enhancement prisms and ascendant shards. Now before you should think about stockpiling any of these materials, it may be worth clearing out your vault. There will be 21 new sunset weapons alone going into season 13, so it most definitely will be worth taking the time to clear out some space, not just to clear out any weapons that you no longer need, but also to make room for any new loot next season. Now I made a full guide around utilizing Destiny Item Manager before Beyond Light. If you haven't seen that video already, I will leave a link to that down in the video description below. So be sure to utilize that to make sure your vault is ready for Season 13. Now going back to those upgrade materials, in terms of legendary shards, you can obtain these by dismantling any legendary gear. And if you're going to be clearing out your vault, you will end up with many legendary shards as a result. However, even if your vault is relatively empty right now, with the reintroduction of Umble Engrams going into next season, we'll probably be switching swimming in legendary shards once again once the new season kicks off. As for mod components, the only way to get these now is via the gunsmith. Ada 1 has left the tower so you can no longer purchase them directly from her, so be sure to pay Banshee a visit and collect any gunsmith bounties in the meantime just to make sure you have a small pile of mod components going into next season. Now as for enhancement cores, you can obtain these through Nightfalls, gunsmith bounties, the clan engram, and with the launch of Beyond Light it also seems that you have a great chance of getting these from legendary gear or masterwork gear when you dismantle them. So unlike in previous seasons where you needed to go specifically farm enhancement cores, they are much more readily available now than they have ever been inside Destiny 2. Now the next two key materials we're going to cover is enhancement prisms and ascendant shards. Now both of these can be purchased from the gunsmith over in the tower. Prisms can now be purchased as well from spider in a tangled shore, although I highly recommend that you don't do that as it's a very expensive way to do it. The best way to farm these two materials though is through the nightfall ordeals. Now as for enhancement prisms you can hold 50 per character as well as 50 in each postmaster so overall that is a total of 200 enhancement prisms now if you want to be able to hold more than 200 enhancement prisms you can complete the pit of heresy at the moment this will provide a masterwork piece of gear which won't be the case in season 13 you can collect these in your vault and whenever you need an extra few enhancement prisms you can simply dismantle those as and when you need them and lastly we have the ascendant shard you can keep 10 of these in your inventory with another 10 per character in the postmaster and these can be obtained through high difficulty nightfall ordeals or purchased through the gunsmith over in the tower. The one material we were hoping to carry over was memory fragments however Bungie did confirm that this will not be the case so if you do have any in your inventory that you haven't used already be sure to utilize those to make sure you don't miss out on any stasis abilities before the end of this season. And to wrap up this video we're going to be covering bounty hoarding. We're not going to go into too much detail as this doesn't change too much season over season. The key change going into next season as we stated earlier in the video is that weekly bounties will be replaced with non-expiring account scoped objectives each week that will grant a lot of seasonal rank instead of XP. Now whilst that's been introduced next season that doesn't mean that you can't carry over weekly bounties from the current season. However Bungie have yet to confirm whether these bounties will carry over or whether they will be removed from infantries on the 9th of February. Now you can carry up to 46 bounties in total with up to 22 of those being weeklies. So in theory, you could hold on to 1.2 millions worth of XP, and that's before you apply any Ghost XP boosts or Fire Team boosts from the new Season Pass. Now, if you weren't aware, weekly bounties do offer 12,000 XP, daily bounties offer 6,000, and repeatable bounties offer 4,000. So if you want to play it safe and not use any weekly bounties, then you can collect up to 46 daily bounties instead to ensure that you do have guaranteed XP sources going into Season 13. So outside that question mark that we have, have over weekly bounties the way to haul bounties has not changed at all you do want to make sure you have eight vanguard crucible 
Gambit and Gunsmith bounties though and that will ensure you can complete all four tower challenges which will provide additional XP in the new season. Now DestinyRecipes.com offers a fantastic pre-seasonal checklist so if you want to check yourself against it to see how well prepared you are I'll leave the link to that down in the video description below. But there we have it guys that is a roundup of everything that you should be doing right now ahead of next season. Now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and as I said if you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content 80% of the viewers here are not currently subscribed so if you want to keep up to date with everything to do with destiny be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys and i will catch you all again very soon